There he is, there is one. Hopefully he doesn't hear me. There is another one. No, don't hit me, please! We go get out of here again a little tea bag this is gonna be the tea bag episode okay what well, what the hell was that scream what happened oh look at that historically accurate world war ii <laughs> what is this character you know what i really want to do right now i want to bayonet charge people and pretty much stab them in the heart with my bayonet that's what i want to do right now so we're gonna do that okay i see my first target around this corner right here there we go. Beautiful. I'm sorry, bro, but you deserve a little tea bag. A bayonet charge in Battlefield 5 is more humiliating than in Battlefield 1. There you go. Oh, you guys thought I forgot about the Ilya Muromets? There's no chance. A triple kill. Okay, that's, that's decent. That's a good start. Okay, another triple kill. That's decent, and we're dead. No, don't hit me, please! Nice! Oh, that's a tank. Well, I cannot bear a charge a tank. Well, I can bear a charge him. There he is. There we go, right in the back. That's a sneaky bear a charge. I like it. They're not seeing, they're not looking, they're not looking. Please, just don't look around. Okay, I'll take it, now I'm gonna get killed. Yet somehow I'm still alive. Now you might be wondering, why am I waiting here, doing nothing? Well, you're about to find out. I'm just waiting here, not really doing anything. But before we continue, a quick word from today's sponsor. Frag Pro Shooter. Last time I talked about Frag Pro Shooter, a lot of you guys really enjoyed it and since it's completely free to play, I decided to do another one with yet again some cool rewards. Frag Pro Shooter is an awesome shooter specifically designed for mobile and around 1 million players are playing the game every single day. With more than 80 characters to unlock, all with unique powers, you can equip 5 of them in your deck to fit your playstyle and take down the enemy bunkers to win. Frag Pro Shooter just received its biggest update and with it comes a brand new character called Archon. It also comes with a new game mode called Payload, it plays on a unique map and the goal is to escort your car to the finish line before the enemy does. Right now on iOS you can get 24 exclusive skins in this week's special community event, but regardless if you are on iOS or Android, you can get Frag Pro Shooter for free and get some cool rewards with my special link down below. Even if you already have the game installed, these rewards are for everyone, so be sure to use the link in the description or in the pinned comment. A big thanks to Frag Pro Shooter for sponsoring this video, let's continue. That's what I want to do. Come on, he deserves a little tea bag. He spawned in and he got killed immediately. You know why? Because this <laughs> this game, Battlefield 5, allows for spawn killing like that. So it's not my fault. Now that's unfortunate. Oh, I got a double kill as well. Ooh, that's nasty. That's really nasty. They are not happy with that, but they are gonna spawn back in, I'm sure of it. You know, it may take a while, but I think it's gonna be worth it. I have my bazooka ready. Look at that. Bye bye. <laughs> I'm sorry, you, you always have to teabag after this. My bad, I'm sorry. No, don't capture objective G, don't do it. This objective need to be taken by the enemy in order for them to spawn a plane right here and for me to ruin their fun. Okay, any second now. Come on, any second now, just spawn. You can do it, just respawn, it's okay. <laughs> oh man, oh this is so stupid, why, 
I'm sorry, I have to teabag you. I'm sorry, it's just in my nature. Look at my name. I want to go straight to Objective D and grab the Tank Hunter kit immediately. Okay, it should spawn here. Besides the Trench Raider, I think the uh, Tank Hunter is the most fun Elite class in this entire game. There we go. That's, that's, that's what I want. Now I'm getting out of here, I'm gonna retreat. I'm not taking any chances because I think the Tank Hunter along with the Trench Raider has the least amount of health out of any Elite class. So I'm gonna take it slow, you guys. Don't worry, with the power of editing, it should look something like this. That's more like it. Oh, I love this so much. Thank you guys, you guys are awesome. Oh, and he's also the Elite class, nice. Hell yeah, bro. Oh yeah, just as he was jumping over that wall. Any more people? Go oh, right there. There we go. One shot kills to soft targets. It's so satisfying. I love it. It's like playing with the RSC in hardcore. Okay, I feel like they're coming. You need to be my defense. Okay, yeah, they are out to get us. How many kills do I have now? 14 and 0. Why is this server so empty? I would really prefer it if it was more populated. 61 damage to the horse. And he's gone. Nope, he's not gone. I just killed him literally through that little peep there. What are you doing there? I'm sorry, I think you just spawned and now you're dead. My bad. 17 damage, that's not a lot. There we go. Okay, that is cool. That was cool. You saw that? It's like the ammo storage in the tank was on fire. Stuff like that. That was really cool, not gonna lie. Battlefield 5 does have its moments. But the point is, with Battlefield 5, you have to try really, really hard in order to make that happen, in my opinion. And you, you don't want that. It should happen naturally. Hey, man, it's not my fault. I saw you spawn in and I took advantage of it. I'm sorry, bro. <laughs> Oh, that's so messed up. Okay, the objective is still in enemy hands, so in a couple of seconds, a new plane should spawn here for me to kill him. Oh, uh, they're already out to get me. Yep, they're definitely... I think they're onto me. Look, he's literally looking for me. Yeah, I'm sorry, buddy. Come on, quickly. I need to relocate. But first, I need to kill the enemy plane. Just spawn. You should be spawning by now. There you go. Yes, baby. Vehicle destroyed? Oh, I think I killed him. I think I destroyed the plane too fast. That's why he still technically had spawn protection. Next time I'm gonna wait a couple of seconds. Okay, objective George is ours again. I don't want that. So I'm gonna wait for the enemy team to... What the... What are you doing here? Oh, oh Gunter. Gunter. Your head just got ran over. Yes, okay, they're taking it, they're taking it, nice. I know it seems counterintuitive, guys, but this is exactly what I want. Almost there, guys, you can do it. Okay, maybe one will spawn. Nope. I think we just need to wait. Okay, one, two, three. Yes, yes. yes. Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry, it's just too much fun. I can't help it. I'm really sorry. Okay, for your entertainment, I'm gonna use one of the weakest primary guns in Battlefield 1. And that's this thing. The M1903 Experimental. For the people who don't know, the M1903 Experimental is basically a regular M1903, but converted with some sort of, I think it's called a Patterson device, to shoot smaller caliber rounds, like this. As you can see, very little recoil, but it doesn't do a lot of damage, so it's more of a spamfire weapon. But the coolest part about this gun is with one press of a button, look at the animation. You can convert it back to a bolt action rifle. Look at that. And you can convert it back, obviously. That's literally one of the coolest animations in this entire game. I don't know, I really like it. Let's have some fun with this thing. Okay, you need to take out these planes because they're harassing our friends. Come on, shoot him. Now, you're shooting the wrong... No, shoot this guy. There's literally a plane right above you. Maybe you should get off. Get off. Thank you. Okay, let me do the thing. There he is. 
That's how you do it. Okay, so look. There are obviously enemies somewhere over there. So I'm gonna convert it back to a bolt action sniper rifle. And maybe... There we go, that's what I'm talking about. You see what I mean? That's so cool. And now back to like more close quarters, I guess. With a Patterson device. And that's it. What did I tell you guys about it being like a pebble shooter? It's really not powerful at all. Let's see if we can pilot the airship and get some multi kills. There we go. We are in the pilot seat. Look at this thing. This behemoth is literally behemoth. Let's see if this does anything. I'm gonna put one here. There we go. That's one kill. Okay, you know what? I'm sick and tired of this thing. I'm gonna flank them in a way. There we go. That's a beautiful Rambo action right there. We're gonna use the Pedersen device to equip it to a bolt action standard rifle. Now we can do some damage, I think. That should have been a headshot. There we go, that's a headshot. Look at that, he just freaking missed me. I'm gonna knife the hell out of you. Never mind, I'm gonna shoot you with my sidearm. Well, looks like the airship is going down. This is always worthy to see. Damn. Oh, that sound effect is pretty cool. Why am I using this gun? I'll tell you why, because it's cool. Okay, you see that guy? Conversion time. There we go. Let's get this field cannon and turn it around so we can actually use it for our will. 40 damage against the light tank, we can finish him. Vehicle destroyed, oh he got out. Some damage again, we take in another sector, that's going really well. There we go, nice kill from far range. Maybe we can get another one. I'm just gonna spam it over there again. We got another kill. There we go. We got one more sector to go. They nerfed the hell out of these things. I remember them being extremely powerful. That's more like it. There we go, another one. Surely we can take them now. There we go, another one. If we can't take them now with all these kills and a freaking airship above them, we don't deserve it. This reminds me of 2016 when these things were pretty much overpowered. Now they are not so powerful, but in the right circumstances, as you can see, they are still amazing. go there we go there we go there we go we're doing some work with this thing I don't even know where I'm shooting at plane should spawn any second now come on couple more seconds come on why isn't it spawning there we go. One, two, three. Oh. oh. <laughs> Look, my teammate is placing down mines. I don't want that, okay? Get out of here. I know it's really messed up that I'm doing that. It literally goes against team play. No! Don't capture the objective. What are you doing? Oh, they're screwing everything up again. Oh, hello. Yeah, they're mad. They're officially mad, and I don't blame them. You know, you might think I'm being a c by playing like this, and you're absolutely right, but technically, I'm definitely helping my team because I'm denying their air dominance by destroying every plane they have, you know what I mean? So technically, I'm doing something good. Okay, there he is, back in time. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, bro. I'm really sorry. I think this is gonna be the last one of this, uh, of this game. I'm sorry. Well, say what you want, but I'm pretty sure this victory that we have right now is also a large contribution because of me 
destroying the enemy planes right when they spawn. It was nasty, but a lot of fun. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, then be sure to like it and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Join the Discord, link is down below. And with that being said, I see you guys next time.